Hey guys, James here today, and welcome to a brand new series. Well, the return of a series, technically. This is a Let's Build a Police Station. The police station part is obviously not the series. The Let's Build is. Now, I haven't done a Let's Build series in a very long time, and it's been a very long time, so let's get back into it. Now, I, I did promise uh, before, like, Get to Work came out that I wanted to build a police station and a hospital, so, uh, you know, that's what we're going to be doing. Today, we're going to be doing the police station, as I mentioned. Uh, I, I did want to do the hospital, because I, I noticed uh, Deligracy is actually working working on a hospital at the moment, so I thought, you know, well, I might as well do the other one in case you guys watch her as well. Uh, anyways, so there's a little bit of variety there, I guess. Uh, yeah, so I, I just got to the police station lot. Um, and we got a few people working in here. Um, so I'm intrigued to see how I mess this up. Because uh, obviously there's a lot of items we need to have. Uh, I did find there is a, a nice neat little, uh, actually, little menu that pops up here for police station items that actually does help us out, give us all the items that we do need. Uh, so we should be able to construct a fully functioning police station, which we'll definitely test out in the end. Also, I mean, I'm sure if I miss anything, you guys will point it out in the comments. Uh, so that'll be really, really helpful as well. Uh, so, I mean, the, the most important items that we do need are obviously the cell doors. Uh, as you can see, we've got a few cells over there. We need the police station front desk, the interrogation table, the booking station, and we need the board up here as well. I think those are the only, like, items you must have. Uh, oh, and the, the chemical analyzer thing. Uh, yeah, so those those items there are the ones that you must have. I think most of the other stuff is optional. I mean, you ideally want somewhere they can eat and somewhere they can work out, but you don't have to have it. Because uh, I believe what they said was if you didn't have, like, a gym, the game just wouldn't tell you to do it because you, you can't work out. But, of course, we will put that in. Uh, we'll try and put everything back in that was there. Uh, we'll probably make the little break room maybe a bit more functional. Might, might turn it into an actual kitchen so you could do cooking there if you wanted or something like that. But, um, yeah. So, I mean, to start off, I, I guess we got to uh, get rid of the police station because it's kind of, uh, you know... Not what we need right now. Just go away. Just everything go away. I hope I'm not deleting something that I need later on. Uh, if I am, feel free to tell me in the comments. They're like, be like, oh, dude, you need, no, you need this. You need that. Oh, no, you've deleted it. You can never get it back. Uh, let me know in the comments. If that is the case and I have messed something up already, uh, what I'll do is I'll just redo what I've done in this episode and, uh, with the thing that we need. Uh, I mean, I guess what I could have done is just deleted the lot. That probably would have been easier. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. There we go. <laughs> that would have been a lot easier. Okay, starting from absolute scratch, we've got all our little sims around here. We've got uh, Zest Johnny. There he is. Uh, that's by sim before he had his name change. Before they fixed that. Okay, so let's get the flooring down, which was just like a concrete thing. I think it was just like that. No, it wasn't that one precisely. Uh, I'm trying to see what they have over there. I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't have to be exact. So I think it, it might have actually been the, uh, the large tile. No, that's the exact same one. Um, no, no, where is the... Oh, God. Good start. Is it that? No. Isn't that what I already have? Stone. Must be in here, right? That? No. No. Well, good start. No, this one. That's what I was thinking of. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think it might have been this, but a different color. Sort of like that, maybe. I don't know. That doesn't look too bad. Okay, let's go ahead and start. <laughs> let's actually build something. So, I don't know if I want it on foundation or not. Probably, because I think it'll look a little bit nicer. So, we'll, we will chuck it on foundation. Uh, but we'll do that in a minute. So let's go... We can measure this quite easily because we've got all these squares. So 2160. Um, so if we go... So if we go 1080. 1080p. Uh, and then that is also 1080. Beautiful. Just double checking that that was the center. So now we know this is our center. That's where we'll have our entrance somewhere around there. Uh, good. Yeah, no, that's a good start. So we're gonna... I, I want to make it a little bit more... Police station-y, if that makes sense. I don't know, it didn't really feel like a super realistic kind of police station, which I guess, I mean, it's the Sims, it's never going to. I don't want this to be super realistic either, but I just want it to be a little bit more realistic. I mean, I guess some police stations must be like that, sure, why not, but... I don't know, I felt like this was not, uh... Was not, uh, shaking my tail feather. If you know what I mean. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, so let's just go, let's just go around here. I mean, we'll just build it, and we'll see what happens. Uh, I don't know how big this place, uh, how big I want it to be. Do I want it to be symmetrical? That's the other question. Probably not entirely, but most of it. Okay, let's just work on, let's work on, try and work on one section of it at a time, and we'll kind of start building it up as we go. So let's make this a, a fairly large little entrance hall area. So this is, well, entrance hall, the, the sort of reception where you, you first come into the police station. Now, all of the doors and windows for the police station were the sort of blockout ones. Uh, well, if we go to taller doors. Like, they were these ones. 
Oh, you couldn't see in. I don't know if it was, no, it was, it was this one actually. Uh, now, do I, I don't need those, do I? No, it just says you unlock the door. So like, you can't see through, like, oh, you can't see in, but you can see out. I don't really like those because it looks absolutely awful from the outside. Uh, I wish there was a recolor where you could say, no, I want them to see through, but there isn't. So I'm not going to use those. Probably just use these because it's pretty much the same thing, but that just has a couple extra bars in it, really. Uh, you know, it, it's a reception of the police station. You can't see anything in there anyways. All it is is just where you go in uh, and be like, yo, what up? Uh, I'm here to report a crime. Or, you know, yo, what up? You are being arrested. Welcome to the police station of your nightmares. Um, do you want to go with that? Or do we want it to be more like that? Maybe more like that. No, it, I don't know. Those windows feel very, very expensive for a police station. Uh, they feel very expensive. Can we... See, is, why, can there be a recolor so you can not have, like, blocked out windows? That'd be nice. Maybe we'll use these instead, actually. I think those look a little bit better. Because I, I think that the two wide massive windows seem a little bit big for me. Um, that might be a little bit much. Let's just start off with that. So that will be sort of our, our starting point. Let's also chuck this up on the foundation like I wanted to. Uh... Yeah, about there. And then, of course, we'll get the uh, the steps in out the front. Like so. Probably just like that. I'm not going to do like a full... Because I, I think they had a full race thing. I mean, this is our own police station. This is going to be the best police station in all of Sim County. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever this place is called. Because uh, I don't think... This world doesn't have a name, does it? This is just like... This just exists somewhere. I wish this was just part of Magnolia Promenade. I don't know why it's not. That would have been way cooler. Some wooden stairs. We don't want wooden. Uh, we want... I don't like those stairs. But do they have like a solid recolor? No, they're all bricks. Um, which are, are... these like stones? What the hell are these anyways? No, they're like wood. And you can't recolor them. I think you, to recolor them, you actually like click on them again. Yeah. No, they're wood. I don't want wood stairs outside. I guess these are the ones we want. Yeah, those are stone. Okay. Uh, so let's go... Yeah, wow, those don't have good colors. Either white, dark sort of gray color. Oh, well, well, I guess we're going with that color then. I, I want to get a little side poof around it though. <laughs> yeah, side poof. That's what I said. Like this. Hang on. Uh, bring it back in. Just so it sort of goes around the stairs. We'll probably change the foundation as well so it doesn't uh, sort of overlap the stairs like that. But let's just get... The details in first. It's all about the building process. So, if you've never watched my Let's Build series before, uh, you may or may not. I guess, if, actually, if you watch my Room Build series, you will know uh, for sure that um, whenever I'm live commentating a build and uh, and recording it at the same time, it's going to take about 20 times as long as if this were if this was just a speed build. But the good, the, I mean, the benefit of that uh, is that, of course, uh, you can provide feedback throughout the series, uh, which is also good. So if I do something wrong or is just something that's really dumb, then you guys can let me know. Uh, now, so this is going to be probably a, like, yeah, probably like a concrete floor, but maybe a little bit more stylized than the one we have there. Uh, let's actually just chuck in some lighting uh, first. Deco no, not decorations, lighting, just so we can actually see what we're doing. Uh, as I always like to do, get some lighting in here just so... We can see what color the floor is actually going to be. Because sometimes when it's dark, it's kind of hard to see uh, what the wallpapers and flooring look like. Uh, I think those are, those tiles are a little too big for the inside. We could do something like that. I mean, it's not, it's not going to be glamorous. It's never supposed to be glamorous. But I want it to be something that kind of makes sense for a police station. Um, so, sort of, yeah, sort of, I, I want some sort of floor tile. Uh, obviously not marble. <laughs> this is not this is not a Dubai police station. Actually, those ones look a little bit better. They're a little bit cleaner. Um, that's a little bit nicer. Yeah, this this isn't a Dubai police station, so they're not going to have Lam Lambos for all the police cars or anything like that. Unfortunately, you know, this is just a, a, a regular police station. <laughs> they they do what they can with the budget they have. Uh, apparently, they're doing a massive renovation. Is there a tile that is like easy to recolor? I know I'm asking a question that the answer is no. Uh, there's no easy to recolor time. Oh, yuck. Keep that. No, that's gross. I think we just go with that as, as like a base point anyways. Then we could do a, a sort of an inner flooring, I guess. Like what if we just did something like that as well? I don't know. We can, we can mix it up as we go. Let's just start off with that with our, our base starting point. And then the walls, I guess, again, should be fairly 
well, not pr- not prison like in here, but fairly sort of you know commercial um, looking kind of things. Oh, there's that wall again. Now these are very tall walls, which I guess we don't need them to be that tall because, um, yeah, no, that should be fine. I don't think we need super high walls. Uh, I mean the uh, this will all be a testing thing as well because there, there are different height jail doors uh, for each of the sizes. So obviously, I think by default, this because the station was three uh, or the super high wall, they had these jail doors. I don't know. I mean, I presume these work as well, these ones. But uh, again, that's all going to be a <laughs> part of the learning process and seeing what works and what doesn't. Because uh, I, I really don't know how this is supposed to be set up if we have to do anything special to make it work. Uh, oh, there you go. Something like this, actually. That's like perfect. It's kind of warm. I uh, probably want to change the color, though. I uh, can't change it after I've placed it, which is annoying. Uh... Probably, ew. Uh, no. Yeah, well, I guess we, if we just go with a sort of, no, that's that one again. If we go with a sort of blankish kind of wall, maybe even just do it kind of white. Because, uh, I mean, there'll be items everywhere to sort of uh, change it up a little bit. So what, what I want to do, because I want to have, like, yeah, front desk around here, and then you'd have... Uh, sort of windows into like the sort of office area just behind so we have a couple offices at the back uh, which I think is where we'll have most of the, the policemen doing their work so let's get the front desk and sort of can you get out of there you're just really annoying uh, let's get the yeah the, the police desk uh, which is not in that category I think it's in this one uh, yeah here we go so we need this one uh, so let's put it right in the middle of course Right about there. Obviously bring it forward a little bit. Now, what colors do we have? Oh, we have a large variety. I think that one probably goes best. It's sort of light color. Uh, now, I don't think it matters what else we put with it. Uh, as long as it all works. So, uh, let's get that in there. What have we got? Oh, yeah. Get a little bit greeny. Get the green in there. Oh, yeah. Now, this is looking fine. Mighty fine. But I think we'll, we'll give them more room behind the desk in a second. Um... So yeah, we'll have a fairly large sort of waiting area. So this is like where you'd all come in and you'd sit and you'd wait your turn. Wait for your name or, you know, to be called your name or number. Or the cops to come arrest you either way. Um, so let's give them a little bit more space behind. Actually, no, let's get the... Oh, this is going to be fun. Building PlayStation is fun. Decorations. I'm probably going to want to not... Oh my god. By the end of this, I'm probably going to be like, oh, God, this is awful. <laughs> like, by the end of the series, I'll be like, why won't this end? Uh, all right, let's get this. Now, I would like to, because there are other... Um, oh, I can't clone it already. There are other... I noticed there's another type of desk. Well, not another type of desk, but it's the same desk uh, called the front desk. No self-respecting public service venue can function without an official front desk. It's impossible. I wonder if we can put more of these, because this is like a specific one, obviously. But what happens if we put these ones in? Like, because I would like to have them have like more sort of people sort of working at the front desk instead of just one. But like, not not necessarily working. They just look like there'd be more people there. I, I, again, I don't know what happens if we do this. So you have okay, yeah, there you go. So yeah, so we'd have like a fairly large kind of uh, reception area. Um, I would also like to put like maybe we put like cabinets above it or something. Wish you could get like bulletproof glass above. That. About the desks. That'd be good. Uh, auto counters off, please, because I would like to get... Is there a... Um, oh, I, w I wanted a diagonal piece, not a curved one. Uh, maybe we can just get a corner piece. Uh, no, I guess we'll just take it all the way to the wall. Uh, so it'll, it'll be like completely walled off, so you have to go through the doors at the back. Now, I don't know how... I think police stations just simply work by... I don't know if there's anything else I have to do, but I think if you, because I mean, I was looking at the original police station. I don't know how it works. Like, I don't, I don't, I think like civilians that come in will just, they're pretty much programmed just to go to the desk and leave. Um, so I don't think they will walk anywhere else. I think that's how it works. I don't know if we have to use um, the specific doors because there are, yeah, there's like this one, uh, this door, and then there's like a double version of it as well. I don't know if we have to use these doors. Um, or if it's just like, I think, I think they just go straight to that desk and that's kind of all they do, um, when, when people come and visit. Again, I don't know. I don't know. So please do let me know, uh, if you know, if you know, who knows, and all that kind of stuff. Now, yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to get like, obviously not that because it looks dumb. Like, 
just like a sort of top separator. Like I wish you could get like a little, uh, oh, maybe we could do windows. Like if we get windows, right? Windows XP in here. Uh, like if we got this, obviously move objects on. And then what if we, why is it so weird though? Like the, <laughs> the shading looks really weird. No, but if we, um, I wish it also snapped the tile properly. If we move it up, oh, I can't move it up in the empty ground. Oh, damn. I was hoping we could like suspend it from the ceiling so you'd have like a partial glass sort of separator. Maybe we can do it, um, oh, that doesn't work. Uh, what we could do, what if we do single walls? Oh, okay, so it's kind of like, because the way I've placed it, it's kind of... Uh, could try this. Oh, not quite, not quite like that. Um, if we go like that, I'm just trying, I don't know, I, cause you know, like whenever you go to like a, any sort of government place, they always seem to have like the little glass separator so you can't get in there. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to sort of represent, but it's not easy. I mean, we could do that. Oh my God. That like, I don't like how windows amplify light. <laughs> like, look how bright that is. Uh, I don't think that really makes any sense. So I might just get rid of that. I want to do something though, cause it. It wouldn't just be a desk. I mean, I guess we can just do cabinets behind on the wall. I don't want to do them floating above because that seems kind of weird. But we could definitely do cabinets behind. Um, so we'd have... No, we'd have to get one that looks good, though. We have. I think we'd do... I want to do ground ones as well. I don't want to use... Um, actual... Those are too fancy. I wish there was ones that matched those. There's these. No, they're not very good either. And then these don't have a particularly good color. Um, well, first of all, I need, I need to make more room behind because it's not enough room. Let me give myself a little bit of space. Let's go about to there, I think, would be good. I think we have to use these ones. So if we go... What are the colors? Yeah, so that's pretty much the color we're going to have to go with. Let's go with this. Um, so kind of be like a, a little separator here. And then you'd have sort of like... If you get those two-way, I wish I, oh, I wish I had like a striped two-way because you know like how uh, you see those windows and they're sort of like they're like they're like a mirror but they have that little sort of uh, horizontal lines that you can see through. So it's like half mirror, half window. Um, I wish I had those because that would be perfect. But we can use we can totally use this one. I think that'll be ideal. So it's like a mirror, like uh, you know you know what I'm trying to go for here. So then obviously people can see out but they can't see in, which I think is perfect. Um, I wouldn't mind using a. Glass door there though. No, I don't want a glass door. We'll go an archway. We'll leave it open so like it's, it's like sort of kind of part of the same room there. Uh, and then we'll sort of put little decorative objects on that because obviously those aren't actually counters. Um, oh, maybe maybe we should just use counters then. I mean that. I was doing that because we they were a little bit closer before, but I guess it's not taking up that much room anymore. So maybe we just do this. And then we can just put stuff on it. And then we, yeah, just sort of put like clutter items on that over there. That'll work quite well. Um, I wonder if we just don't put, yeah, I mean, like, I was, what if we don't, just don't put chairs on those and people wouldn't use them, would they? That would work. Uh, okay, is there a way I can get windows up higher? Oh, I, sorry, I can use them. I thought I tried move objects before, but I didn't think it worked. But it does. But they, the shading looks really weird. Because I just want it to be... Hang on, let's figure out how high it needs to go to look like it joins the ceiling. Okay, first of all, go the correct way. Okay. So about there. So if we get... Okay, now that, that window's too big. <laughs> that window's too big, it covers up the whole thing. Uh, no, it needs to be smaller than that window then. What if we get... Um, this idea maybe going out the window. <laughs> Pun intended. Um... No, I don't think there's any... Oh, I guess we could use these. Oh my god. The lighting... Okay, the... If it didn't look like that... Yeah, you can't change the color. There's got to be something we can hang above that would create that sort of security feel. Because right now, I mean, someone could run and jump over the counter and get in there, right? Uh, <laughs> it is not really what I... Like, obviously, the Sims aren't going to do that, but, you know, I want some sort of sense of security. What if we just build a wall straight through it? Because apparently we can do that. And apparently he doesn't care. And then what if we... I wonder if this works. Because this is actually exactly how I want it to be. 
<laughs> that's actually like really cool. I don't know if that's going to work. I mean, it visually works. Can we get a window above an archway? I don't think we can. Um, is there... Of course, now the archways aren't going to be the same height. But if we go like that, get a window up there. Get one up there. And that's bigger. Yeah, you, well, you can't... I guess we can just put like a little decoration or something up there. Is there... I think there's taller archways though, isn't there? For sure. Like, I think we could... Oh, I don't want it too tall though. Is there... Is there like... um? If you go me no, there's no medium archway. Damn it. Alright, we'll just go with these. Is that the same one? I don't know, but I'm just gonna get this as well. Um, uh, but that's that's kind of what I wanted to go for. So then they have like, you know, a separation between them. If that works and they can sit there and use that, that is gonna be freaking like that that is perfect. That is exactly how I want it to be. Uh, I mean, apart from the fact that I want a window up there, which I don't know how we could do that. I mean, we could mm. I don't know, because the rest of it's like perfect. That is exactly... No, that is... That is more than perfect. That is like... The ideal setup. Um, if we go for... Whoa. Oh, that looks dumb. It needs to be something that looks like... Like a sort of strong material. Something like that? No. Why don't we get this, but then it had that sort of metal grating finish, didn't it? We could do that. Can we make those white? I don't know. Something like that. That's all right. And then if... Oh, then if we get the... Uh, I know what we can do. I mean, at least to fill in the detail a little bit. Is get that sort of badge. See a little badge above it there. Uh, and then we could do... What other random little items do we have? There's, is there like just decorative items we could use? That would make sense to go up there. Nothing in there. I mean, there are some just... Uh, good new... Actual decorative items. Actually, let me um, filter specifically by get to work because that would probably help us out a little bit. If we go into decorations and let's just go all decorations and see what we got. Large print. Alrighty. Oh, so those are some new items. If I get rid of those. I want to get rid of the stupid gold selection on here. I don't know what it is. There's something in these categories that are, are still new. Okay. Uh, all right. So we got get to work. We need some stuff that can go on the walls. That makes sense. I don't want to do more. Po I, mean, I guess security cameras make sense, don't they? Yeah. No, that makes exact. That makes like perfect sense. So you go like right above. So like if you're talking to the cops, there they they no they can see you. Oh yeah, no they can see you. Maybe this should actually go back here though. Like if we put it back there, because then it, yeah, no that makes more sense. So it's like looking straight out. Yeah, that's better. Instead of being above. Oh, where did that go? Put that back. So if we put it there, because then, yeah, if you were standing here, that's like, yeah, that's right on your face. You, you, you are caught, son. You are going to be caught. Um, oh, it's got rid of my filter? Stupid game. Uh, there we go. Let's get another one of these. Oh, this is going to be the best police station in the world. I really, I sincerely hope these desks work. I feel like it's probably not, uh, just because the actual desk is bisected by a wall. I mean, these parts won't matter. So, I mean, worst comes to worst, what we'll do is just create a gap here and we'll uh, probably just put like an, a, a large painting or something up there to, to simulate a wall. Uh, what is that? Oh, that's good, actually. We can use this. Like little wanted posters or something. Uh, if we got like a little black sort of one there. That's good. And I guess we'll do, we'll do the same one over here because, yeah, the colors change the pictures. <laughs> oh, actually, if you look at some of the Sims, that's funny. Look, there's that's uh, Sim Guru Ryan's Sim. That's Sim Guru Rusky, Sim Guru Grant. Oh, let me put it down. Sim Guru Grant. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Is that Walter White? <laughs> that looks like it's supposed to be Walter White. And then that looks like Sim Guru Jill. That's funny. Uh, I don't know who those are. Let's see. Who else we got? Uh, Sim Guru Graham. Sim Guru, uh, Romeo, I think that is, by the looks of it. Oh, who was that again? Is that Sarah? No, that's Sim Guru Sarah. That is Sim Guru. Oh, escapes me. I don't know. If you go on Twitter, like, these are all their display pictures. That's, uh, I don't know who those are either. That's funny. That's funny that they're in there. That's a nice little Easter egg, actually. That's quite good. Uh, okay, let's move that there. So there, there you go. That gets a little bit of uh, detail uh, above those areas. A uh, little stock ticker. That doesn't make any sense. Let's not use that. Uh, let me chuck back on the filter, though, because uh, I'm sure there's some other items we could chuck around the place. Or at least just another sort of thing above. 
at the very least. Uh, no, we're not going to do another one of those. Uh, well, that doesn't make any sense. That's sort of like a achievement. Paramount Park. So anything that makes sense to put above. Because if it doesn't make sense, I don't want to. I don't want to just chuck something up there that doesn't really make any sense. Like that doesn't make any sense. Uh, I guess that will probably be fine for now. No, that's coming along well. That that's good. I'm really happy with that. I hope. I I really really hope that works. Also, why is that? So I think that might have been placed a little bit wrong. Let me try that again. Because where is that? That's just above the door. That's a little bit further above the door. Sort of about there. I think it's where it is. Yeah. It's still there though. Oh, well, that's all right. Whatever. We'll look into that later. Okay, let's go back into police station items uh, and have a look. So let's get some of these uh, sort of benches for the waiting area. Is there... Oh, yeah, there's single chairs. I, I, prefer, I prefer having, like, chairs for it, actually. Uh, so what can we get? Oh, very, very colorful assortment. <laughs> oh, it's going to be it's gonna be a fun police station. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll definitely chuck in a vending machine somewhere though, that's for sure. So if we go, we kind of want them sort of around the middle. So we go like this, and then on this side as well. Of course, all the colors and all that can are subject to change. It doesn't have to be this drab. <laughs> we can come in and change it if we want. Uh, if we want. Uh, let's see. Where's the matching one? Can't tell. Let me bring it out. A lot of people always ask how I do this. It's the uh, the plus key on uh, the number pad, or if you press the minus key, you go backwards on the number pad. Uh, so there's this one here. If we go one, two, one, two. I don't know actually know if I want them like this. That's sort of confu I, I'll, I'll move them closer together because they're quite far apart, but we'll, we'll sort of shuffle them around. Um, because I, I want quite a lot of chairs. Because I mean, like you go into a police station, there's tons of there's tons of seating because <laughs> there's lots of people. Waiting their turn. Uh, I think we'll do like a little something in the corner there, maybe. Yeah, if we go a little chair there, a little chair there. Yeah, then we can have doors on either side to go into wherever you're trying to go. That's pretty good. Uh, I wouldn't mind having... Yeah, so the vending machines I think we'll put there because we've got a nice little spot for it. Uh, let's move these a little bit closer though because they're quite far apart. Just so like that. Yeah, that's much better. This is gonna be so good, and then, then lay. Oh, we gotta, we gotta make sure we make an office for Lady Big Wallet as well. That's what we gotta do. I don't wanna move them too close. Uh, that's for sure. We gotta do that. She's gonna have her own office. We'll do a lot more offices because by default there's only one office in the police station. There's like the chief's office, and that was it. Which is kind of lame. So we'll we'll do more than that. Uh, let's have a look back in here though. Is there any other little items we could use? Actually, there is the vending machine in here somewhere. I think. Uh, yeah, here we go. Of any machine, so we'll get. Uh, get. Should we get them both there, or should we separate them? Let's get both of them there. Oh, maybe we'll have them either side. One there, one there, and then we also need some bins. That's for sure. Um, no, it needs to be more. Uh, commercial style bin like you wouldn't just have like that on the floor that's like for the offices and that um we need i guess come kind of something like that would make more sense but even like that if there was um there's no just like wish they had more of a traditional kind of store like shopping mall kind of bin let's just go with that that's probably fine um okay <laughs> it's very drab in here I'm, I'm aware but then again it is a police station so it's not supposed to be the most fun place in the world but we will uh, definitely uh sort of lighten it up uh with a bit more color later on is there a matching color to that of course there isn't that'd be far too easy we'll just go with maybe a different table then does this some of, one of this is gonna have a matching color right uh or at least close enough no, of course it doesn't. All right, maybe we'll just use this one then. Uh, it could go that. That's not too far off. Get those in the corner. And I was thinking we could get a little coffee table in the middle there as well. Definitely not there because that's kind of like the main walkway. So we don't really want to block that up. But if we go into surfaces and uh, coffee tables, I might be able to find a nice one to just put in there. I wish that wasn't so big, actually. I wish it was like a... I mean, there's that, but that's not really ideal. I wish it was like a thinner coffee table. Like, so it was like half a, t half a couple of squares or something. And just a smaller one to go in the middle. 
All right, no, we won't do that because it'll take up too much space. That's looking pretty good. That's coming along quite nicely. The little lobby area is looking pretty good, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's get. Oh, you know, we got we got a little bit of a little bit of time left in this part, the first part. So let's go into decorations. Uh, let's go all. Let's uh, filter get to work so we can let's have a look at the, the all those uh, specific new items that we can sort of chuck around. Because I want to, I just want to chuck some little details around the back here on this uh, sort of upper shelf. Can I um stack a couple of those? I mean, if I use move objects, I could. Uh, of course, you could change colors of those. I, I won't bother sort of detailing it too much just yet in terms of colors and all that kind of stuff, but um, we'll get there. Now, where's the wall? Because obviously, I don't want to place it in the wall. Uh, what we can put? No, I don't really want to put a file on the table looking out. No, there's no, we can't really put anything there unless we sort of move objects it, uh, which of course we could do. There we go. If we just make sure to place it like carefully so it doesn't snap on. Yeah, see, it's really hard to do. You really want to place... Oh, jeez, that's hard. All right, I might, I might fiddle with that later a bit. I mean, there's also, the other thing I could do in this series, which, uh, I, pending feedback, like, leave it in the comments down below. Uh, I could do, you know... Oh, that doesn't go on the counters? Um, yeah, no, pending your sort of feedback on the matter, like, certain things like, well, trying to place that up there and spending 20 minutes doing that. I could do stuff like that in between parts. So I could do like some more tedious things as such as placing really fiddly items uh, between episodes or something, which I think would be a good idea and help speed up some of the stuff. Oh, a little uh, blind eye chart. That's cool. I could put it like... No, I want to put it on the side of the counter because I, I don't know if it's the same for you guys, but like whenever I go to the the sort of RTA, which is uh, the same as the DMV in the US, like the sort of Department of Motor Vehicles, the, the, the place you go to get your driver's license, they tend to have like the little uh, sort of eyesight test. They would have it down the bottom behind a little cabinet and then you look at the mirror behind, which is angled at it, like up there, like angles down, then you have to do it that way. I was wondering if we could get that sort of little detail in. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, obviously not because it's not going to let me do it. Let's go for... I think we just need some more of these earlier on items. If we get another one of these, get a different color though. That's really, like, it's so, it's so drab. It's so drab. But then, I guess, really, is it ever gonna not be drab? Like, it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty depressing. <laughs> like, it's gonna be pretty depressing in this police station. At, at least the lobby. We, we might spruce up some of the, uh, the other places, but I don't want it looking over the top like, oh, this is, uh, this is a police station. Like, this is, like, it just wouldn't make sense to me. It feels like over the top decorated and all that kind of stuff to make it look really, really nice. That uh, looks good. Oh, hey, that camera is way lower than it should be. Oopsie daisies. Oh, so that should be there. Yeah, there you go. And I was thinking we should probably get some in the uh, the actual lobby as well. Like we probably will we'll get a couple up here as well. So that'll sort of look over the room and get a good eye of the room. Um, that should be fine. That should cover that space quite nicely. Uh, and we definitely need some sort of pictures up around that. We Really what you need is like posters that have like like cops on them or something. Oh, I wonder if we could do some paintings. Get like paintings of cops and that. Is there a is there a mod? Has anyone made a mod where you can um because obviously they have paint by reference now, which is you can take any screenshot in the game. Is there a mod where you can just use an image file and put it in the game without like without having to create custom content? Like, could you just because uh, then cause that like the idea I have there is then you could edit the screenshot before they paint it, uh, and then you could. And then obviously it would transfer via the gallery and it wouldn't be considered custom content because it's just a painting that your sim has done. If you could do that, if there was a mod for that, that would be really cool because then you could uh, have all these custom paintings, uh, like even with like written text on them and all that kind of stuff and really customize it. That'd be really cool. Um, I mean, the other way you could do it, I guess, is technically you could make the custom picture first, put it in your game, then have your sim paint the custom picture and do it that way, because then again, that wouldn't be considered a custom item. That would work. I don't know. Lots of uh, lots of ideas. Uh, I would like to. Oh, I guess exit sign would probably be good. Um, put it there. Oh, actually, I'll move it up a little bit because the door will the door will clip through that. But that's uh, that's a good idea to have that. Um, I would like to. Let's actually chuck in. No, oh, actually, no. Let's not do that. Let's uh, let's chuck in. We'll get one there and over there just for a little added detail as well. Uh, what we should do, let's get in the doors to the next room. Uh, so this is obviously going to be entering the police station. Uh, double door is too big, so we will not be using that. We'll we'll use these doors just because I guess it makes sense. So it's like it's kind of like a secure looking door for sure, so we'll go with that. 
I kind of like the green one a little bit because it, it does match the chairs back there as well. So we'll get one either side. So that's kind of how you get into the police station. Uh, and then we'll probably have... Like, this will probably be a hallway that goes around. I guess we can do it now. Uh, I don't, I don't want to start on another room just yet because I haven't, I haven't figured out the layout. Like, oh, of course I haven't. This is just all... Let's build it as we go. See what happens. Have a bit of fun. <laughs> that's the idea. Uh, good, that didn't destroy anything. I was worried that it might have. So yeah, this will be like a wraparound hallway, probably like that. Uh, that goes around the entire sort of station. We'll get rid of those two walls. Uh, so that will sort of encompass that area. And then we'll probably have oppo uh, opposites. <laughs> offices opposite that. Or even, we might even have the, a couple of offices there. Like we could have two smaller offices here and here. So they could see into the uh, the area. So these won't be like... Um, why is that not considered a room? That's weird. These won't be considered... Very fancy offices. Or maybe we could even just make it a big... Why don't we make this the chief's office? We could do that. So we could have the large chief's office here. And then obviously windows all around it. So we can see, he can see everything. Like he can see you guys out the front. He can see everything around here. And then we'd have obviously probably more offices around there or something like that. Uh, I think we'll do all the prisoner processing stuff upstairs. So we'll have like cells upstairs. These sort of uh, thingo station. All that kind of whatever it is. Um, whatever it is. Uh, what is it called? I can't remember the name. The thing that you do the stuff at, uh, the booking station, that's the one. The booking station, interrogation table. Uh, we, I think we'll go sort of temporary lock up down the bottom. So maybe we'll have, oh no, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how we go. But this is the start of our police station. I think that actually looks really, really good. I mean, ignoring the lights, because the lights are going to change. Don't worry, that's just to light up the space. And we'll probably add more uh, detail and decorations around later on. Um, in fact, I'm probably going to do some more now. I was thinking maybe we should just do a rug under the chairs because that would also add a little bit of detail uh, to the particular build. Uh, if we can go... No, is there just... I just really just want to... Actually, no, we don't even need a rug. If we just change the floor tiles, that'll work. If we go for a... What about like a... No, it wouldn't really be kind of dumb. I kind of want it to either be a change in uh, stone so you'd have something like that. If we do them both, can I change them both? Oh, okay, I can change them both at the same time. That's good. See, I would like to have like a... We could do that. Actually, that doesn't look bad. I don't know about that particular color. Hard oh, concrete. That's not bad. And then we could do the little... um, This little fence around it. A floor separator. Which would go... Not like that, because that's the wrong fence. <laughs> Make sure I don't destroy anything, because sometimes when you do this, it... Oh, okay, well, let's not do it. Yeah, see, like, why does that destroy chairs? Like, what? That destroys chairs, right? Okay, let's not do that. We could just leave it like that. That's, um, I don't know if I particularly like that one, per se, but, you know, like, that's just adding a little bit of detail to the, uh, the build as it is. I wouldn't mind, uh, a sort of, uh, runner going down there, though. Oh, we've got little grates as well. That's actually cool. We could use that. I don't know where we're going to use that, but we could. Um, is there just, I just want a plain rug, like, just... Like a carpet rug. That's it. No patterns. No guff. Because it's not, not going to be fancy. Alright. Well, we'll leave it like that. Okay, we'll leave it there. Uh, but leave your comments and feedback down below. Uh, if I've done anything wrong, like if you know if this works or not, please do let me know. Because it, it's better to find out whether this works or not sooner rather than later. Um, I would test it now, but obviously it's not going <laughs> to... The police station is not going to function at all with only desks and nothing else. So I'm not going to run the simulation just yet. Uh, but yeah, no, if you if you know anything that I've messed up or forgotten, do let me know down below in the comments if you have feedback uh, or, or suggestions for the next part. Again, let me know. Let me know everything down below. That'll be good. But uh, until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching and have an awesome day.